Now you will find out about the incoming planetary conjunctions, bright deep sky objects visible in June, and a potentially active meteor shower. I promise, will be very interesting. June starts with a unique astronomical event when Mars passes through the Beehive Cluster, an open star cluster consisting of more than a thousand stars situated 577 light years away from us. Mars can be easily spotted appearing as a faint reddish star that shines after sunset in the western part of the sky. It's also very easy to find Mars because it's located close to Venus, an extremely bright planet situated in the dusk sky. Once you have successfully located Venus, you can then spot Mars positioned slightly higher above it. On June 3rd, there will be two captivating astronomical occurrences. First, Mercury will reach its highest position in the morning sky, presenting a wonderful opportunity for observing this fast-moving planet. To locate Mercury, it's better to wait for approximately one hour before sunrise, as it will be situated above the eastern part of the sky. If you have a telescope, you may even see its face, as Mercury, along with Venus, is one of the inner planets that undergo phase changes as they orbit the Sun. On June 3rd, the full moon, also known as the strawberry moon, will appear. Physically, this full moon doesn't really have any differences that set it apart from other moons throughout the year. Some Native Americans simply use this nickname of the moon to mark the ripening and gathering of strawberries. And no, the moon will not appear pink. On June 4th, Venus will achieve its greatest eastern elongation, thus remaining visible until midnight in the northern regions of our planet. What's particularly interesting is that locating Venus requires absolutely minimal effort. Simply look towards the west shortly after sunset to identify Venus, which will appear to be the brightest object you can see. During the middle of this month, there will be several conjunctions taking place, starting with the Moon and Jupiter on June 14th. The celestial pair will be visible in the eastern sky, likely around an hour prior to sunrise. Therefore, you should take advantage of this opportunity to observe the largest planet in the solar system and our natural satellite at the same time. Two days later, there will be a close approach between the Moon and Mercury, the closest planet from the Sun. This celestial conjunction will present a great opportunity for beginner astronomers to locate Mercury, as it's typically obscured by the Sun's glare. To spot this elusive planet, simply direct your gaze slightly beneath the Moon. A pair of binoculars or a small telescope can significantly help you in this endeavor. However, always remember not to aim these optical instruments at the Sun without proper solar protection, as doing so can turn your eyes into scrambled eggs. Two days from June 16th, the new moon will emerge, marking the period of the time when our natural satellite isn't illuminated by the sunlight as seen from Earth. This creates a wonderful moment for astronomers to observe deep sky objects like galaxies, nebulas and star clusters, as the moon's glow doesn't obscure them. Utilize this opportunity to observe your favorite deep sky objects, and at the end of this video, I'll show you the most beautiful ones visible in June. June 21st will bring the summer solstice, the official beginning of the astronomical summer in the northern hemisphere. During the summer solstice, the sun reaches the highest position in the sky, and people in the northern hemisphere experience the greatest amount of daylight hours. Therefore, every subsequent day is shorter, which is probably good for astronomers who want to see more celestial objects, but cannot do so due to longevity of the day. Another astronomical event will take place on June 21st. People worldwide will witness the alignment of the Moon, Venus and Mars, creating a remarkable triangle that will illuminate the western sky after sunset. This will present a wonderful opportunity to observe both planets and our Moon at the same time. When viewed through small telescopes, Mars will appear as a diminutive reddish sphere, because it is currently situated far away from Earth. Finally, June will conclude with the peak of a peculiar meteor shower called June Buritz. I hope I pronounce it correctly. It's a very unpredictable astronomical event that usually doesn't produce more than one to two meteor showers per hour, even during the peak. However, a few times in history, like for example in 1998, this meteor shower produced as many as 100 meteors per hour. Will this meteor shower experience a similar outburst in 2023? 
Probably not, but who knows? Alright, but what about the visibility of the planets in June of 2023? Throughout the month, all planets will be visible in the night sky. In the early morning hours before sunrise, you'll have the opportunity to witness Mercury shining prominently in the east for about an hour. Venus along with Mars will be shining brightly above the western part of the sky right after sunset. Although relatively low in the horizon, Jupiter is getting higher in the eastern part of the sky positioned above Mercury. While you're waiting for Jupiter to rise, turn your head to Saturn which will be visible after midnight above the southeastern horizon, making it a wonderful celestial object to observe. As for Uranus, it's rising higher in the eastern direction. Remember that you can see this planet only a few hours before sunrise with a telescope. Neptune, also requiring a telescope for observation, can be found in the eastern southeastern sky after midnight. Now, what about the deep sky objects? If you happen to live in the northern hemisphere, you should try observing three bright star clusters that are well positioned in the sky in June. In order to find these objects, I'd recommend you download the sky map Stellarium. Link in the description. People living in the southern hemisphere can also enjoy two fairly bright star clusters. Wait until the moon is below the horizon and escape the light pollution in order to fully enjoy the view of these objects and capture stunning images. In any case, June 2023 holds a multitude of exciting astronomical events that you wouldn't want to miss. Remember to subscribe to this channel to see more future videos on space and astronomy. And as always, thank you for watching very interesting videos. Bye.